teenage girl vanishes from her home in Brockton. 30 years later, her family still doesn't know what happened to her. Our Bob Board has been following this case for decades. He sits down with the family to mark the painful anniversary and renew their plea for answers. It's tonight's New England's Unsolved. It's been 30 years since Jennifer disappeared. What does this anniversary mean to you? It means that I still don't know where my daughter is. I don't know what happened to her. Somewhere along these Brockton streets in this neighborhood, many believe is the answer to a heartbreaking mystery. What happened to Jennifer Fay? On the night of November 14, 1989, the 16-year-old Jennifer walked out of her Emerson Avenue home to be with friends, and she completely vanished. Jennifer's mother, Dottie McLean, is still searching. It'll never go away, I believe, until I at least find her. This playful home video of Jennifer Fay was shot less than a year before she disappeared. This is how her sister, Yvette Aubin, remembers Jen. She was the life of anywhere she went. Any room she came into, she, she was just charismatic. And Jennifer loved to have fun. On the night she disappeared, Jennifer's mom asked her to babysit. But Jennifer wanted to go out to a neighborhood party. I remember that night like it was yesterday. Jen called a cousin to watch the children. I begged her not to go. It was like I knew something bad was going to happen. I got this like feeling over me. Something wasn't right. And that's when I, I decided to go home. And, uh, and she wasn't there. Jennifer Fay never came home. For years, police considered her a runaway. We thought that perhaps it would uh, we'd crack this in six months, maybe a year. Private investigator Charlie Castro heads up a team of PIs looking for Jen. They've been on this case for 16 years. We feel there are people out there that know more than what they've told us. The PI team believes when Jennifer left her house, she stayed in the neighborhood hanging with friends. Eventually, Jennifer wound up on Broad Place, a back alley about a block away from home. It is here Jennifer Fay is last seen, talking to someone in a brown pickup truck. And P.I. Castro tells me his team has discovered a brown pickup truck owned by someone in the neighborhood disappeared around the same time as Jennifer Fay. No reason for the truck disappearing. It was only three or four years old. Uh, it was never sold. It was never re-registered. It just, poof, disappeared shortly after Jennifer's disappearance. The investigative team has interviewed 250 witnesses, including Jennifer's closest friends, many of them not talking. Jennifer's family is hoping that maybe now, the 30th anniversary, someone might finally speak. I can't give up. I never will. She's my sister. She was my best friend. They have to come forward. I mean, before I go, I would like to know where my daughter is. If you have any information about what happened to Jennifer Fay, contact the team of private investigators looking into her case at 508-328-9285. For New England's Unsolved, I'm Bob Ward, Boston 25 News.